Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and this is what I say about food. This is what I say about Cup of Moments, which is a tea company by Ravi Darjeeling Tea. Now this is their one of their Darjeelings. It's a limited edition and this is what it comes for. This is what they look like. C&M. It comes in these really cool handmade boxes by local artisans in India. Now if you don't know anything about Darjeeling tea, Darjeeling tea comes from a specific place in the world. It cannot be made or grown anywhere else and be called Darjeeling. Not. It has to be in Darjeeling, in West Bengal, in India, okay? So this is where this comes from. And they have a couple, they have a number of different teas through Cup of Moments. And they are the CNM Brothers Global Trading House. <laughs> um, that's where it's from. But they have a green tea, they have white tea, they have a, another kind of Darjeeling, but this is the limited edition. That's what we're gonna start with. So I've already heated up my water uh, to boiling and I'm letting it sit for five minutes because if you don't uh, do so, you're gonna scorch your leaves. Darjeeling is an expensive tea. It's a very special tea. It's called the champagne of teas for a reason because it is like a champagne of teas. I love Darjeeling. It is my very favorite thing on the planet to drink and tea wise. This is what it looks like. And it comes from special estates. It can't just be from this Darjeeling region. It has to be from a, an actual estate that's approved by the government saying it's Darjeeling. Now this, what they, what um, CNM, does is they get uh, organic Darjeeling, it's grown right, and they get it from a number of different states and bring it to you in this beautiful way. So I have my water, it has come to a full boil and I've let it sit for five minutes. This brings down the temperature of the water just to a proper amount so that you're not going to wreck your leaves. Now, Darjeeling is a black tea, however, I'm not going to brew it like a black tea. Typically black tea can steep for five minutes before it gets bitter. Darjeeling is a different story entirely. I don't want to wreck it. I love Darjeeling. I want it to be very, it's delicate and you don't want to wreck those little special nuances that are in there and you will if you don't brew it properly. So I'm setting my timer for three minutes. That's it. Maybe even two would be perfect. And I'm going to allow this to steep for that long. A little bit more water in. Now, my mom is going to share this with me today, and she's pretty excited about it. Yes, mom? I know it. So, this is how it comes in these nice little bags. You can just reseal them, but it's so cool that you can, like, store them in these cool bag boxes. But see, they come like this in these boxes, which is, I have the different teas here, but you can also get more ornate boxes. And the, some of the proceeds that come from this company, the C&M um, Brothers, they give it back to the community and back to the, the people that need it. And they always make sure that the tea comes from places where they're giving fair wages to their workers, etc. So this is this. It's nice, right? It comes like that. So we're going to let this brew for a minute and we're going to taste it for you. And we're going to tell you what we think about it. Darjeeling should be enjoyed by itself with nothing in it or when you can do with milk and sugar. But to me and to purists, <laughs> Darjeeling purists, that really ruins it. You can put honey in it if you want to. I do sweeten mine. Now, I, I like my Darjeeling unadulterated, except I like it just a little bit sweet so I can, I can taste all those nice little fruity things that I want to taste. Uh, Mom, she drinks her tea with nothing in it, so she's gonna give you that opinion on the other side. Now, it's a very delicate tea, however, it's power packed with all kinds of good stuff for you. Now, teas are full of antioxidants in the first place, and that fights cancer, right? Also, it's really good, it hydrates you, okay? But I'm gonna tell you some other things that I didn't know about uh, the ortho orthodox and organic, organic Darjeeling tea. Um, it says it strengthens teeth and prevents plaque accumulation. Who knew that? As long as you don't use the milk and sugar, right? Um, it helps improve digestion and cleans your bowels, interesting. Uh, it has flavonoids that uh, fight diseases, again, like cancer, what I just said. It's a rejuvenator, reduces thirst. It treats impure blood. It helps in preventing asthma. Isn't that interesting? Absolutely. It reduces obesity, with, of course, as long as you don't put anything in it all the time. Um, it says it helps you with dysentery. Anyone with dysentery out there, make sure you're drinking Darjeeling tea. It also optimizes cholesterol and blood pressure levels. Uh, it reduces your chance of heart strokes. It gives you relief from arthritis, mother. That's a good thing. And it makes your skin look younger and fresher. It prevents formation of blood clots and it strengthens your immune system. Awesome. Really? Awesome. How awesome is that? Not only that, it tastes delicious. 
Darjeeling is my favorite tea and I wish I could drink it every single day. Here we go. Look at this gorgeous color. It's nice and amber. That's exactly what I want. Okay. We are going to pour it. It smells heavenly. It smells just like I want it to. Mm, there, to me, there's nothing like Darjeeling. Now, I have friends that because I like Darjeeling, they'll try it, right? And they'll be like, I don't get it. I don't get it. It tastes like regular tea. It doesn't taste like regular tea. Keep trying it and you'll understand. Okay, we're gonna leave this heated over here, mommy. You want yours just like this? Yes, that would be fine. Okay, I'm gonna Thank put you. some sugar in mine. You coming over here? Over yonder? I do find though that when I uh, make my Darjeeling tea, I use way less sugar than if I'm using another kind of dark tea. Now the measurements are one teaspoon for each cup. My teapot always holds four cups, so I do four <laughs> teaspoons when I'm doing that. Different kinds of teas use different amounts of tea leaves, mm -hmm. right? So this is yours, it's super hot. Cheers. Cheers, sweetie. Do you like the uh, tiger mugs? Absolutely. It's also fitting for tea from Bengal, no? Mm, that's a nice tea. Mm. That is a champagne of teas. It really is, it's quite delicious. What do you like about Darjeeling, mommy? Well, flavor is very complex. It is, mm -hmm. and I know it's just a black tea, and people are just like, it's just tea, you don't get it. We drink tea all the time, we're tea connoisseurs over here. And as compared to our usual black tea that we like to drink, this almost has a fruity, fruity, fruity feeling to it. Yes. Or floral. Floral, fruity, yes. Blossomy, absolutely. Mmm. It's nice. It's really good. It's super Very nice. refreshing. Mm -hmm. mm. And it's not bitter. No. Only because we didn't brew it too long. If you would have taken it even four or five minutes, it would get such better. a huge difference. Now, if you're finding that you don't like your Darjeeling because it tastes a little bit bitter, take the boiling temperature down. And leave it in less time. Leave it in less time. I suggest two minutes. This is very good. Three mommy. minutes like maximum. I'm sneak this over to my chair and just sneak enjoy it. it. Yes. Thanks, mommy. It's such a cold day out there. I oh. just want to cuddle up in front of the fire. It's my tea. <laughs> it's negative 10 here in Canada. With my The tea. temperature is negative 10. The wind chill is like negative, who knows, like 25, 30. Yeah. It is cold. And I'm happy to be in here drinking my Darjeeling tea all the way from India. My Darjeeling tea, my little dog, and my fireplace. Amen, I'm going mom. to relax. Amen. <laughs> Anyhow. Thank you. And you're welcome. Make sure you check out Cup of Moments. They're CNM Brothers Global Trading Company. You can find them at cnmglobal.org. And I will put that on the screen for you as well. Uh, I hope that you try this. This is the Bairavi. Uh, limited edition Darjeeling tea. Again, it's a black tea, but it's special Darjeeling. So this is what it looks like. That's what it is called. I hope I am pronouncing it correctly, but it's delicious. It's tasty. I'm not mad. It's very comparable to any other Darjeeling that I've had. Mm. And we're going to enjoy the rest of this in this cold weather. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. I can see where that would be if you leave it on long. Oh, yeah. But it definitely has that. Um, Floral taste, wow. It tastes like blossoms. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting good info from you. It's perfume. Yeah, it is perfumey. Maybe that's why I like it. Because I, I really like musk yeah, and flavor and thrills. <laughs> and thrills, yeah. Anything like that. Rose petal stuff, you know, orange blossom mm -hmm. things. I really enjoy that um, flowery flavor. Mm.